highest paid lion in franchise history. According to NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero, it's a four-year deal worth $212 million. The new deal puts him under contract through 2027 with an option for 2028. The former first overall pick led the Lions to the NFC Championship game against the 49ers. The Bucks and all-pro safety Antoine Winfield Jr. have agreed to terms on a four-year deal worth just over $84 million with $45 million fully guaranteed. This according to NFL Network insider Ian Rockport. Tampa Bay used the franchise tag on Winfield earlier this offseason but had until mid-July to work on a long-term deal. The Chiefs and Ravens will kick off the 2024 season in Kansas City. This game will take place Thursday, September 5th at 8.20 p.m. on NBC. It will be a rematch of the AFC title game that the Chiefs won 17-10 in Baltimore. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. In the process, started Wesley Financial Group to do one thing, help people get out of their timeshare nightmare. When you buy a timeshare, the timeshare company can raise your annual maintenance fees at will. I recently helped a couple that had their maintenance fees go from $800 to $3,200 a year. They also received a $4,000 assessment for a hurricane that was over 1,000 miles away. Sound crazy? Stop the insanity today. Call my office now. If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your timeshare or you'll pay nothing. One out of your timeshare. Call now for your free timeshare exit info kit. 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. 800-462-3333. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXOL, Central California. I checked again. It, it's a Tuesday. We survived Monday. 14th day of May, 2024, in the newsroom, Jared Unchando. Good morning, Jared. Good morning. Okay. Let's, um, l- let's see uh, how much you were awake during history class. I, you completely blew Paul Revere. Well, that was a joke. I was, I was just messing around. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. I know, okay. I know history. I'm a history buff. Yes. Yeah. On the stage in 1804... An expedition left St. Louis, Missouri, on a mission to explore the Northwest from the Mississippi River to the Pacific Ocean. What was that expedition? That was Lewis and Clark. Well, congratulations. That day you were awake in history, right? Yeah. And they picked up uh, Sacagawea with the baby? Yeah. Okay, and they had and a they dog ended, that made it all the way with them, if I'm not and mistaken. They, they made it all the way to Cape Despair on the uh, on the Pacific Ocean. Did they name it Cape Despair? Yes. Damn. Yes. <laughs> anyway, back then it was called an expedition. These days we would just call it a road trip. <laughs> okay, uh, let's trip. see. Oh, in the news... I really care about the Royals. I I can't begin to tell you how much I really care about the royal family in in Great Britain. But King Charles says he has lost his ability to taste as he continues to battle cancer. It's sad but true. He no longer has taste. But that's okay. It's... uh, English food anyway, so yeah, you might be better off not tasting it. Wah, wah. Okay. Anyway, and he probably can just flap his ears and uh, you know, move to another continent. I'm going to say, when you said you didn't like the Royals, I just was thinking of the baseball team for some reason. I was oh, like, okay. hey, what do you got against that? <laughs> yeah, the Royals are okay. The Kansas City Royals. But, you know, I, I don't know why um, Americans are so enthralled with, uh, with the British royal family. It seems to me, um, you know, we... We fought a war to get out of that. I know, huh? Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, uh, how about some birthdays? Birthdays. You ready for the big shot birthdays? Okay. Gene Cornish, he plays guitar with the Rascals. They're no longer the young Rascals. Gene Cornish is 80. Movie director, producer George Lucas is 80. Actor Meg Foster, 76. Was she Cagney or Lacey? I don't know. 
Director Robert Zemeckis, he did Forrest Gump, Back to the Future, he's 73. Actor Tim Roth, 68. Actor Danny Huston is 62. Musician Fabrice Morvan of Milli Vanilli is 58. And let's see, actor Kate Blanchett, 55. Singer Danny Wood of the New Kids on the Block, 55. Yeah, he can join AARP now. <laughs> Director Sofia Coppola is 53. Actor Gabriel Mann, 52. Actor Carla Jimenez, 50. Guitarist Henry Garza of Los Lonely Boys, 46. Actor Amber Tamblin is 41. Actor Lena Esco is 39. Actor Miranda Cosgrove, 31. Local birthdays coming up. For over a century, local broadcasting has evolved with the needs of the community. We move past the stigmas of opinion journalism and bring the most relevant news online, on air, and on the go. You have trusted us with your news, sports, weather, and entertainment. Trust us to keep moving with you. Text RADIO to 52886 and tell Congress local broadcasting is here to stay. We have happy birthday wishes today for Daniel Cruz, Cheryl McAndrews, Mateo Lizarga, Daniel Albert Ramirez, Mark Lorona, Aaron Foy, Catherine Johnson, Felipe Irigoyen, Juan Campos Jr., Kenneth Purdy, Lisa Gutierrez, Mason Ricardo Rios, Alfredo Nunez, Christian Salazar, Justin Marino, Joaquin Lopez, and Delia Herrigi. Happy birthday from KXO and many happy returns. Well, uh, again, let's go back to Great Britain. London's famous Garrick Club voted to allow women after 200 years of men only. <laughs> it was a close vote, 51% saying yes, 49% saying no. <sighs> Only took them 200 years to get around to that. Well, is that the Little Rascals uh, Club? You know, yeah, the, the He-Man Women Haters Club, wasn't <laughs> yeah. that it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I can hear the Little Rascals theme in my mind right now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, coming up, we'll, uh, we'll touch on some local news. We will... Uh, Check in and uh, update some weather and go in depth, give you an idea what to expect uh, through the uh, through the week. Uh, we've got sports and uh, financial news and all sorts of things. So are you ready? Yes, sir. OK, we're ready. It's uh, a look at World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by the Imperial Valley Food Bank fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. CBS News Brief. Donald Trump's got a friend in House Speaker Mike Johnson. He's at his hush money trial to lend support as the former president's former fixer Michael Cohen takes the stand again. Johnson spoke outside. Painfully obvious that we are now six months out from an election day. And, and that's the reason. That is the reason why they brought these, these charges here and across the country. The Biden administration announces tariffs on $18 billion worth of Chinese EVs, battery steel, and aluminum. Leal Brainard at the National Economic Council. What these tariffs do is they give American workers and businesses a fighting chance to produce cleaner steel competitively. A new survey funded by a pro-abortion rights group finds about 8,000 women in states with abortion bans or restrictions were getting abortion pills in the mail monthly late last year from states where they were legal. CBS News Brief, I'm Deborah Rodriguez. My name is Shelley Wilkinson and I am an Imperial Valley Food Bank board member. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially among those struggling to find their next meal. As the main distribution center of donated food in Imperial County, we store, rescue, and purchase food in bulk to serve 25,000 people each month at over 30 locations. Join the fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley by donating online today at www.ivfoodbank.org. California Headline News, pro-Palestinian demonstrations continuing on college campuses around the state. At San Jose State, protesters are involved in a sit-in. Justice Studies Professor Sang Kim is supporting the demonstrators. The administration, though they send lots of emails 
about their concerns over wars or natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes have yet to send one email out about the genocide that is happening against the Palestinians. Protesters say they want the university to be more transparent about its financial investments and to fully divest from Israel. A 43-year-old man found guilty of second-degree murder in the death of his 27-year-old girlfriend. Rachel Buckner's mother saying there's only some level of relief. What today's verdict means for me is that I don't have to look over my shoulder for right now. I've lived in trauma, in terror. Joseph C. Roberts convicted of killing Buckner, dismembering her body and disposing of it on Alameda shoreline. Gas prices, five twenty-seven a gallon. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Your health is important. So keep yourself and your family covered with Medi-Cal. Medi-Cal renewals will be happening soon. So if you have Medi-Cal, make sure you don't miss any important renewal information. If you've moved in the last three years, check and update your mailing address, email address, and phone number. Learn more at keepmedicalcoverage.org. That's keepmedicalcoverage.org. Paid for by the California Department of Health Care Services. We see a lot of news about teens vaping, but teens see something else. Videos on social media that glamorize it and downplay the dangers of nicotine. How can parents talk so kids will listen? Use facts. One, nicotine can rewire teens' brains. Two, it can make teens more anxious. Three, changes to the brain can be permanent. So even when it hides behind a new look, nicotine is brain poison. Go to undo.org for more. It's page one of the local news. Page one is a service of El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They have three locations in the valley to serve you. And mobile vans that come to you wherever you are at no additional charge. Quick Lane. They service all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. Health Sciences Center to open. Here's George Gale with that. The new Health Sciences Center is dedicated to serving students enrolled in the Career Technical Educational Health Services and Medical Technology courses. The courses offer students an experience that emphasizes patient care with a focus on public health. Celebration starts at 5.30 p.m. Thursday with a community partner resource fair. The grand opening ceremony begins at 6 p.m. Public is invited and tours of the new facility will be available. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And work plan for Dannenberg Drive. Dannenberg Drive to be closed. The city of El Centro says the closure will run through May 24th. The closure will begin near the intersection with Highway 86. The closure will affect lanes in both directions. During the closure, motorists are asked to be cautious and follow all traffic control and detour signage. It is strongly recommended that motorists use an alternate route during the closure. For more information, contact the City of El Centro Engineering Division. And uh, 2024 Imperial Valley Economic and Energy Summit, IVEDC Summit for 2024, it'll be held uh, June 12th through the 14th at Imperial Valley College. Registration is open right now. The Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation is hosting the annual event. The conference will be co-hosted by Imperial Regional Alliance and Imperial Valley Business Resource Center. The three-day event will convene local leaders and industry experts to discuss industry and economic growth in the Imperial Valley. Attendees will have ample opportunities to network and join conversations that shape Imperial Valley's future. Topics include renewable energy, battery manufacturing, lithium valley, water, hydrogen, and more. To register, contact the IBEDC. KXO News Time, 742. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers have the best price on name brand tires guaranteed. Now we're talking Michelin, Pirelli, Dunlap, Bridgestone, Continental, and more. See a Quick Lane service advisor and get the best price guaranteed. Remember, Quick Lane services all makes and all models, and they're conveniently located in the Brawley Auto Center at the Imperial Valley Mall at El Centro Motors, and their new mobile service van comes to you with no added charge. And a salt and sea study. Here's more with George Gale. 
The money is included in the, in the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers fiscal year two, 2024 budget. The USACE study sponsors are uh, currently evaluating the uh, feasibility of alternatives identified by the state of California's Salt and Sea Management Program's long-range plan for protecting public health and restoring the sea's ecosystem. The uh, Salt and Sea Authority Board Secretary and Imperial Irrigation District Director Gina Dockstadter said uh, these uh, funds are critically needed to ensure that the USACE study and the uh, action it ultimately recommends fully addresses the need of our region, including those of the uh, many disadvantaged Salt and Sea communities that bear a disproportionate share of the public health burdens. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And the catch on tribe celebrates tribal celebration was held Saturday. The tribe was celebrating a March decision by County Board of Supervisors. The catch on tribe had filed a, an appeal to a planning commission to uh, permit the Oro Cruz mining project. The project was planned for the area between Imperial County and Yuma. The tribe maintained it covered sacred ground and endangered the surrounding wildlife. The supervisor's decision stopped the project, but it did not prohibit the mining company from starting the permit process all over again. KXO News Time, 744. Page one of the local news has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations in the valley at El Central Motors, at the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and at the Imperial Valley Mall. And of course, their mobile vans go wherever you are at no additional charge. Let's talk about it. Bringing community mental health issues to your radio. Listen each Sunday morning to KXO AM 1230 at 7 a.m. or on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. on FM 107.5. Or log on to KXORadio.com for a podcast of the show in its entirety. This program is produced by the Public Affairs Department of KXO AM 1230 and FM 107.5. Let's Talk About It is presented as a public service in Imperial County Behavioral Health Services. And it's page two of the local news with a side of weather, all brought to you by Burgers and Beer, the place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family, meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. And Brawley is beginning the budget process. Here's George Gale. It is for the uh, City of Brawley fiscal year 2024-2025 budget. They will hold a town hall meeting and budget sessions before the final adoption. The uh, first town hall will be held virtually via Zoom. It will be held Wednesday, May 15th, tomorrow uh, at 6 p.m. Study sessions will be held at the uh, uh, council chambers and broadcast live on May 21st and June 4th, both starting at 6 p.m. The adoption of the spending plan will be at the uh, city uh, city council chambers and broadcast live at 6 p.m. on June 18th. Information can be found at the City of Raleigh website. Uh, click City Budget. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. And the Calipatria City Council meets. The uh, City Council will meet tonight. The regular meeting will begin the closed session at 5.30 p.m. and adjourn to open session at 6 p.m. Among the items on the agenda are, proclama are a pro proclamation designating May as Poppy Month. The council is also expected to swear in incoming interim police chief uh, Cheryl Fowler and hold a badge pinning ceremony. Fowler recently retired after 31 years with the Imperial County Sheriff's Office. County Supervisor Ryan Kelly will make a Lithium Valley presentation. The meeting will be held at the Calipatria City Council Chambers. I've got a question, Jared. Yes, sir. Are they going to declare Poppy Month? Well, my grandkids call me Poppy, so would it be my month? I guess so. Okay. In, in, in Calipat, it, it, that's, where, uh, that's where it's at. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right. Over uh, $1 million in narcotics found on pedestrians. Here's George Gale. The San Diego field office covers all the ports in San Diego and Imperial counties. Narcotics were seized in April in 12 separate incidents. The incidents involved suspected smugglers crossing through the ports on foot. 
The uh, narcotics were found concealed under their clothing. All the suspects ranged in age from 14 to 21. The officers seized 3.85 pounds of cocaine, 45.17 pounds of methamphetamine, and approximately 79,300 fentanyl pills. Total estimated street value came in at $1,755 thousand of five hundred dollars all the suspects were arrested and turned over to homeland security investigations seizures were all part of operation apollo which began in southern california and has now expanded into arizona for kxo local news i'm george gale and graduation season is underway. Graduation season in Imperial County began last week at SDSU Imperial Valley. Most of the graduation ceremonies will be held in June. There are, however, two events this month. ICOE uh, Special Education High School students will re- graduate on May 23rd. The ceremony will be at IVCEC beginning at 9 a.m. Vincent Memorial Catholic High School will hold their graduation ceremony on May 24th at Our Lady of Guadalupe Church in Calexico, beginning at 10.30 a.m. That's it for uh, local news. News time, 749. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has happy hour every day from 3 to 6? With specials on select appetizers, beer specials, and more. Ask about drink specials all day with $5 drinks like Margarita Monday, Tonic Tuesday, Wine Down Wednesday, and Thirsty Thursday. Our weekday lunch specials include a soft drink from only $8 to $11. May specials include sangria, birria melt, and $5 bottles of Corona. Burgers and Beer with five locations proudly serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and Beer for the best burger in town. The National Weather Service says above normal temperatures will continue into next week. A slight cool down of a couple of degrees is expected for midweek with lower Imperial Valley highs in the mid to upper 90s. Otherwise, the valleys will see afternoon high temperatures in the upper 90s to low 100s. Typical springtime late afternoon and early evening breeziness, along with mainly dry conditions, will continue into next week. 100, the high yesterday, 64, the overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 98. West winds 5 to 15 miles an hour. Becoming south this afternoon with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly clear, a low around 67. West southwest wind 15 to 20 miles an hour, gusting as high as 35 miles an hour. Those winds diminish a bit after midnight. Wednesday, sunny with a high near 98. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then becoming north. 74 degrees downtown El Centro, 27% relative humidity. Wind out of the west 5 to 7 miles an hour. Local news, page two and the weather, all served by Burgers and Beer. You'll find the best burgers in the valley. Daily lunch specials Monday through Friday and happy hour 3 till 6 p.m. every day. El Central Motors hereby declares it's officially SUV season. You'll find incredible savings on the best SUVs on the road. From the Expedition to Explore, Edge, Escape, even Broncos and Broncos Sports. Take advantage of cashback bonuses, super low interest rates, and top dollar for your trade-in at El Central Motors. And trucks, oh boy, does El Central Motors have trucks. We're actually getting overloaded. I can't believe it, but the trucks are rolling in here faster than we can sell them. So we need to move them out. Help out Mike and buy a new truck or SUV now. El Centro Motors, incredible deals during SUV season and truck month. And remember what Mike says. Don't forget, if you don't come see me first, I can't save you any money. It's just that easy. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the very best care. NBA action last night, the Celtics. They top the Cavaliers 109-102. Boston leads that series three games to one. Meanwhile, the Thunder over the Maverick 196. That series tied at two games each. Today, it's Indiana at New York. 
Minnesota at Denver as the NBA uh, finals continue. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. And uh, did I mention uh, the WNBA kicks off their season uh, this evening? So, uh, yeah, there'll be better basketball, real basketball. They get it. Major League Baseball in 10 innings. The Blue Jays slipped by the Orioles 3-2. to two. Tigers nudged to the Marlins 6-5. to five. Phillies over the Mets 5-4 in 10. Rays topped the Red Sox 5-3. Braves blanked the Cubs 2-0. Pirates, uh, they won. They beat the Brewers 8-6. Guardians shut out the Rangers, 7-0. Astros over the Athletics, 9-2. Cardinals, well, it was Dime Store. Cardinals, 10. Angels, 5. Diamondbacks slipped by the Reds, 6-5. It was uh, the Mariners, 6. Royals, 2. Dodgers dumped the Giants, 6-4. Oh, and the Padres, they tried to come back but they ended up losing to the Rockies, 5-4. Nationals and the White Sox postponed because the weather wasn't real good. And uh, Masters champion Scotty Scheffler has arrived at Valhalla for the PGA Championship. Um, We will have updates from Valhalla and the PGA Championship right here on AM 1230 starting Thursday. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network. Is your child prepared to take the next step? Help your child get a step closer to their UC and CSU dreams by ensuring they have fulfilled the A through G requirements. The Central Union High School District wants to work alongside you and your child to make sure they are college ready and meet requirements for UC and CSU schools. For more information, go to cuhsd2university.com. Lead your child to their future success. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security and Southwest Postal. The only postal box service offering 24-hour-a-day, 365-days-a-year service, Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil, El Centro. China has vowed to resolutely defend its interest in the face of huge new U.S. tariffs. They warned that the trade barriers would affect the wider relationship between the two economic superpowers. President Joe Biden announced that tariffs on $18 billion worth of imports of Chinese electric vehicles and an array of other products would soar over the next two years. The White House said the measures were designed to protect American workers and businesses in the face of China's unfair trade practices, including flooding global markets with artificially low-priced exports. China firmly opposes the new tariffs, according to their country's Ministry of Commerce. The increase in tariffs by the United States contradicts President Joe Biden's commitment to not seek to suppress and contain China's development, according to the Chinese government statement. Well, the surprise social media return of the trader who helped ignite the meme stock frenzy in 2021 sent GameStop shares skyrocketing again yesterday. Uh, The surge had nothing to do with the troubled company's fundamentals and everything to do with the cartoon of a gamer that the trader, nicknamed Roaring Kitty, showed on X. GameStop shares tripled, tripped multiple circuit breakers, a temporary and mandated halt in trading to let investors cool off for a bit. And uh, U.S. wholesale inflation just hit its highest rate in a year. Wholesale inflation picked up in April to its highest rate, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. 
the producer price index, which measures the change in prices that manufacturers pay to suppliers, was 2.2% for the 12-month period ended in April. Right now, on the big board, well, yeah, investors are just kind of watching. As uh, not a lot of activity, the Dow right now up 33 points at 39.463. The uh, S&P 500 up six at 52.77. And the uh, NASDAQ up 52 at 16.440. Gold up 1540 an ounce and oil but off a buck five a barrel. Southwest Security has been protecting properties 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, right here at Imperial and Coachella Valleys. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been in the private security business for over 25 years and have always made it my mission to always provide my clients with the highest quality security services available. Your satisfaction is my number one priority. And don't forget Southwest Postal, the only postal center in Imperial Valley with 24-7, 365 access to your post office box. Access when you need it. Located on the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. We will have sunny skies today with a high near 98 West wind 5 to 15 miles an hour, turning out of the south this afternoon. Gus could reach 20 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly clear, a low around 67. West-southwest wind 15 to 20 miles an hour, becoming west 10 to 15 miles an hour after midnight. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 98. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then becoming north. And right now, we have 75 degrees downtown El Centro, 27% our relative humidity. Wind continues out of the west right now at 5 to 7 miles an hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company that protects you, your home, your business, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. CBS News just ahead. We'll be back after that. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. Sponsored by T-Mobile. I'm Steve Kathan. Breaking news from Florida. Officials report at least eight deaths and more than 40 injuries after a bus carrying farm workers crashed with a pickup and rolled over. Happened on a highway south of Gainesville this morning. Disgraced ex-lawyer Michael Cohen back on the stand today at Donald Trump's criminal trial. The former president getting support from House Speaker Mike Johnson at the courthouse. Even Cohen's own lawyer testified to a grand jury that he is not reliable. So there's nothing that he presents here. It should be given any weight at all by a jury, and certainly not this judge. This morning, Cohen admitted to making false statements on invoices and said payments were discussed with Trump in the Oval Office. CBS's Robert Costa. It's possible cross-examination could start today, or the prosecution could spend much of the day wrapping up and nailing down its case about these allegations. You can expect whenever the defense begins its cross-examination, it will be tough. It will go after Cohen's credibility, raising questions about his past conviction. At least two people killed when powerful storms rolled through the Gulf Coast yesterday. In Henderson, Louisiana, the mayor, Sherbin Collette, says a tornado did widespread damage. A lot of people was praying because, praying because I tell you what, how people didn't get hurt more than they did here, it's a miracle. Just days before China's president meets with Russia's Vladimir Putin, President Biden has announced new tariffs against Beijing, targeting electric vehicles, steel, batteries, and other goods. Asia expert Gordon Chang. President Biden, I'm sure, has many motivations for imposing his Section 301 tariffs on China. But doing so, so close to the November election, indicates that his re-election campaign was uppermost in his mind. Secretary of State Blinken is in Ukraine saying American military aid on its way to the country will make a real difference on the battlefield against Russia. We're determined, uh, along with many other partners from Ukraine, uh, to make sure that you succeed on the battlefield. We're equally determined that over time, Ukraine stands strongly on its own feet. Blinken had lunch with his Ukrainian counterpart at a Kyiv pizza joint run by war vets.
Alabama has become the second state to ban lab-grown meat, as we hear from CBS's Jim Crisula. Supporters of the law argue that it protects cattle ranchers and farmers from lab-grown meat competitors. And the measures also address the idea that global elites are promoting unnatural food. Cultured meat or cultivated meat is the production of meat without using the whole animal, but using animal cells. Crystal Andreasen is a researcher at Tufts University. And checking Wall Street, right now the Dow is up 47 points. This is CBS News. Switch to T-Mobile and save with tons of benefits on every plan versus AT&T and Verizon. Use the savings calculator to find out how at T-Mobile.com slash switch. With T-Mobile, you can get tons of benefits and still save because nobody likes having to choose. It's like getting romance and sci-fi. I love you. Also, I'm a robot. At T-Mobile, you can get the benefits you want and still save on every plan versus AT&T and Verizon. See how with our savings calculator at T-Mobile.com slash switch. Plus, switch and keep your phone. We'll pay it off up to $800. Paid for tool prepaid card in 15 days. Qualifying unlocked device, credit, service, and timely redemption required. Card has no cash access and expires in six months. See T-Mobile.com. We see a lot of news about teens vaping, but teens see something else. Videos on social media that glamorize it and downplay the dangers of nicotine. How can parents talk so kids will listen? Use facts. One, nicotine can rewire teens' brains. Two, it can make teens more anxious. Three, changes to the brain can be permanent. So even when it hides behind a new look, nicotine is brain poison. Go to undo.org for more. The name's the same in an odd political contest in the Pacific Northwest. The office is governor of Washington State. The problem, three candidates named Bob Ferguson. The most well-known Bob Ferguson is the state's attorney general and Democratic frontrunner. I look forward to listening and learning from Washingtonians in every county and corner of this great state. The Seattle Times reports a conservative activist pushed the other Fergusons into the race, allegedly to confuse voters. That violates a state statute. The most famous Bob Ferguson filed a cease and desist complaint. The other two have dropped out, one saying he was being harassed, the other saying his dream was destroyed. Peter King, CBS News. Some games on the NFL's regular season schedule are emerging today, one day before the full official release. Super Bowl champion Chiefs open with the Baltimore Ravens, then tangle with Cincinnati in week two. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. Yeah, for some reason or another, you sound a little taller on radio. <laughs> AM 1230 AXO. 